Staples. Staples. We don't care about staples. More cutting. It's good for the knife. I, I heard it sharpens it. <laughs> Just don't tell Robbie since he bought me the knife for Christmas. Oh, you're oh, killing me. This is like Christmas right now. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't want to rip the packaging. Everybody criticized the improper knife handling techniques. Well, I'm glad I'm standing over here. Well, at least it's not like that Rusty's box. Mm. Remember that one? Couldn't yeah. Note to sell. Motor, motor belt tape is strong. There's enough staples in it. Oh, nice. Wait, I want to see this one. Hmm. Hard water. Yep. Oh, man. Can we take this one all the way up? No. Oh. I want to see in this one. So that's the skid plate. Yep. Mm. Two minute work. On to the next film. Back to ripping. Right? Yeah. Ripping. A couple staples. <laughs> oh yeah. Shiny. Mm, they look great purple. Seriously? Mm, or black. <laughs> <laughs> Some powder color. Come well, on. What about that black and the skid plate purple? Yeah, I might do that. I I, I gotta talk to Larry. Woohoo! Yeah. Gladiator Project Fuel Tank. Change up number 653. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop doing this. So you gotta love it when you're like doing all the motorbuilt stuff. And uh, just before this, I had obviously the uh, opening of the uh, motorbuilt stuff. So. Now, I took the motor belt stuff home, and then I decided to stare, or tear down the 1971 Gladiator project from how it was configured with all the pristine fuel tank parts so I could slap in the motor belt setup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can't help myself. Um, took it from one extreme to another. And motor belt just shoved it right over the top. So, yeah, between it and the rock crawler and the Phi Tech, and um, we got what Curry on here. We got Anti Rocks. That was the Anti Rocks. I read. I repowdered the Anti Rocks because I didn't like how they looked. So, <laughs> there to match the chassis. Um, Curry was pretty cool. They sent me new stickers for it. I haven't put them on yet. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get those on there and continue on with this. So everything, everything on this rig, if anybody knows it is powder coated, if it looks painted, it's not, it's powder coated. Everything has been stripped to the bare metal and my buddy, Larry, who owns L and L powder coating, uh, him and Spencer do all the work. Uh, everything has been done color wise by them. Uh, the body and everything will be done by uh, Captain Saver Egg or Anderson's Auto Body here out of Sonora, California. Um, you can find this whole build on uh, the FSJ network. 
under Copper204 there. Uh, that's my handle, Copper204, on the Instagram. It's also on TikTok. Anywhere you see on the internet that's Copper204, that's more than likely me, whether it's B Harleys, Ford tractors, motorcycles, whatever. So this is all the purple, after, all of the Motorbilt after it came back from Larry at l l for powder coating, um, where he did all the candy purple. This is Yukon Gears purple color that they use uh, with their candy purple. And Larry does his own little twist on it. And yeah, <laughs> it's pretty bad when you got when you got to buy it by the uh, multiple pounds for him, so he can keep it going. The neat thing that nobody really realizes on this purple, when it is first done, he powders it chrome, but the chrome is not UV stable. Right here, this is chrome, not UV stable. So then he puts the powder on there. And turns it into the purple and bakes it in again and it becomes purple so it's actually kind of cool um, and obviously we love purple because I have the 2017 Rubicon purple in color it's my wife's Jeep that I drive I'm just her glorified chauffeur and uh, I was gonna powder coat the tank but changed my mind so here's the tank in the final install well almost final install i'm still going to be playing with the shimming because of the bed height uh, so i may shim it down with custom brackets well i will be shimming it down with custom brackets that's the stock o-ring from the stock fuel pump and there's the clamp ring and now motorbill gave me a kit to make the fuel pump work in here so i gotta stretch it so that's what those arms are uh, there's two different type of fuel pumps we have one held on with that clip another one is hammered in there and you got to knock it out and put the kit in it'll go right in uh, so I have to extend the power leads and I had to extend the uh, for the sensor um, here's the valve covers that came back from Larry all powder coat all out I had the Fitech I completely tore it apart had to put it all back together this is like the fifth time I've had this thing apart and back together um, first time this color um, and so yeah this is from Phytech. Um this is their 70036 kit um, rated for up to 550 horse um, and there it is back on the engine looking bitchin thanks for watching listening to me